Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, NASA is on track for a deep space flight, FAA proposing higher fees for GA flights in the Caribbean, the geared turbofan becomes operational by the end of the year. I'm Brie Cross, it's October 26, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. NASA's Space Launch System program has completed its critical design review and major subsystems such as Orion's Launch Abort System and the Space Launch System RS-25 engines have recently completed successful testing. These accomplishments bring America one step closer to deep space. Four major industry players are building the Space Launch System and Orion spacecraft for NASA's crewed exploration missions that will travel beyond the moon and into deep space. Boeing is designing, developing, producing, and testing the rocket's core and upper stage, as well as the avionics. Orbital ATK provides the solid rocket boosters, and Aerojet Rocketdyne provides the RS-25 and RL-10 engines for the core and upper stage that carry the launch system and Orion into orbit. The Orion Exploration Mission 1 will be the first time the space launch system is integrated with the Orion spacecraft and flies into space. The uncrewed mission will last more than 20 days and will prove the design and safety of Orion and the launch system for human exploration missions. The FAA has proposed an increase in fee rates for aircraft transiting the Bahamas. The FAA proposes to increase the rates for en route and oceanic overflights over a three-year period. Jim Parker, the owner of Caribbean Fly and Adventures, is asking pilots to weigh in on the proposal before the comment period closes on October 27th. Parker said in an email sent to ANN, quote, We need to make our voices heard. Comments need to be received by October 27th. The FAA will increase the fees again in a few months, and before too long, every little trip we make between islands in the Bahamas or between the Bahamas and the Dominican Republic will be billed for FAA ATC services, the same as a jumbo jet, end quote. Parker added that these user fees were clearly intended for foreign operators and explicitly do not apply to any aircraft taking off from or landing at a U.S. airport. He said a simple solution to this problem, which is costing the FAA more than it is receiving from private aviation, would be to exclude U.S. registered general aviation from these fees. International airlines can pass these fees along in passenger ticket costs, but U.S. pilots flying from U.S. airports in U.S. registered GA aircraft are caught in the middle of the international fee collections proposal. After the break, new jet engine technology is about to be put into service. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons, easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. A new large jet engine technology called the Pure Power Geared Turbofan is set to enter service by the end of the year. It's been 30 years since Pratt & Whitney came up with the idea to slow the main fan with a geared system to transmit power from the turbine to the fan. The theory was that if the large fan at the front intake of the jet engine was turning at a slower speed, it would be more efficient than the current fans that turn at high speeds. Their theory proved to be correct. The resolution was to use a gear drive to the fan section much like is used in a turboprop aircraft. Pratt & Whitney has invested about $10 billion in the project, and they say the result is an engine that burns up to 16% less fuel and is 75% quieter on the ground. 
The company has found a market with airlines ordering the A320neo and is the exclusive engine provider for new narrow-body airliners from Bombardier, Embraer, and Mitsubishi. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off. In this video, we see that all's well that ends well. Watch the action and listen to the radio communications as a Boeing 747 lands at Gatwick Airport with the right wing main landing gear retracted. Search VS-43 Gatwick Emergency Landing on YouTube. After these messages, Life Flight's AW helicopters exceeds 10,000 flight hours. Now certified, Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Life Flight Network of the Pacific Northwest and Intermountain West United States announced it has exceeded 10,000 flight hours with their fleet of AW-119KX life-saving emergency medical service helicopters. Life Flight Network has now taken delivery of 19 of the life-saving helicopters. The U.S. Army has awarded a contract to General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for 19 improved Gray Eagle unmanned aircraft systems to be delivered by September 2018. The improved aircraft provide better endurance, additional payload capacity, easier maintenance, and improved critical component life. Rolls-Royce has reached an agreement worth $2.4 billion for engines and services with China's H&A Group. The agreement was signed during the state visit by the President of the People's Republic of China to the United Kingdom. Scientists using NASA's repurposed Kepler Space Telescope have uncovered strong evidence of a tiny, rocky object being torn apart as it spirals around a white dwarf star. They say it's the first time they have witnessed a planet being ripped apart. LL has signed a five-year maintenance service agreement with Pratt & Whitney to provide maintenance on up to 17 additional PW4000 engines over the 27 engines they already service. Pratt & Whitney and LL have more than a 50-year history together. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. United Airlines has added a stabilizing factor to its operation by reaching an agreement with the International Brotherhood of Teamsters to put a proposed joint collective bargaining agreement out for ratification. The proposed agreement will bring together the airline's more than 8,600 technicians and related employees under a single contract. United has joint collective bargaining agreements covering the majority of its represented employees, including pilots, dispatchers, fleet service, passenger service, reservations, and storekeeper workgroups. United Acting Chief Executive Officer Brett Hart said in part, quote, We appreciate the efforts of the negotiating committee, as well as the assistance of the National Mediation Board in helping us reach this agreement, end quote. The company is also engaged in mediated negotiations with the Association of Flight Attendants and recently entered into discussions with its pilots, represented by the Airline Pilots Association. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage. 
of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.